It kind of hit or miss for yes. some folks, but at least we're talking about rain. Hey, we'll have something rather than nothing at all, but it will be kind of hit or miss depending on where you live. So let's break down who we think is probably going to get the best chance of rain throughout the day and possibly how much right now. This front is approaching central Indiana. It's going to knock us back down to the 60s this weekend. Cooler weather this weekend. More frost and freezes will be on the way, but we've got a good chance for some rain, especially north of Indianapolis for the next couple of hours. Heavy rain bands on and off. There's splash and dashers coming in towards uh, Marion, Huntington, really at Fort Wayne area, but even just now north of Indianapolis, Hamilton County, Boone County, Madison County. We've also got a couple showers that have now formed. Anderson and Pendleton were dancing with a couple showers now too. And Frankfurt, West Lafayette, Purdue, we're finally getting some rain on campus right now. So let's walk through the rain zones throughout the day, starting at 7 a.m. and all the way through the rest of the morning to lunchtime. Best chance of rain will be north and west of Indianapolis. This is not a guarantee that you get rain, but generally we think the better rain chances will be to the north and west. Now as we push into the afternoon, we'll start to see these rain bands really fall apart as high pressure eats at them. There's still a chance of rain, but it's going to be spotty. We've got a 20% chance or so, so it's on the lower side around central Indiana, maybe a little bit of a higher chance farther south of Indy. And then after five o'clock as we're wrapping up the day, we'll start to push the clouds out a little bit. There may still be a couple sprinkles, mainly east and south of Indianapolis, right around some of these sectional games. 1A through 4A have sectional games tonight. Nothing that's going to really impact the game, so we don't be surprised if you get a stray sprinkle. Let's talk traffic this morning. So far, things are moving pretty much fine. This is a, a, just a stalled out uh, vehicle there on I, up 465 westbound as you're headed towards I-69. Traffic still moving fine. And then this is a live look outside in the Greenfield area. You can even see a little bit of the green from some of the pillars there right off the exit at the Greenfield exit. But it's a mostly cloudy start now. We're starting to see those clouds increase, uh, but traffic is moving fine. No fog to talk about this morning, so that's some good news, but we're moving fine. A lot of green on the map. Of course, we still have the I-65 closure. Uh, six more days to go, so under a week, just before Halloween, this thing will start to reopen again, allow traffic to come into.